Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a promo piece for Xenial Pup, or Puppy Linux. Uh, I just uh, put in the USB, <clears throat> and with a little bit of configuration, it required the uh, Ethernet cable because the Wi-Fi did not work on this old Aspire 1. But that being said, it's very responsive, and I'm going to do a quick... Uh, I'm going to do a quick shutdown and reboot straight to Windows. So it says Xenopup is shutting down, session not saved, here's the USB, and the machine is, is already shut down. Again, this is an old Aspire 1 Acer. <clears throat> Let's turn on the device. You can hear the hard drive spin up. And in dim colors right there, you see Microsoft Corporation. I'm not sure which version of Microsoft this is. I think it's uh, Windows 7. No, I think that was the last Windows version that this computer could handle. So right now we're just doing a quick comparison to see how fast it takes to boot up ah it's Windows XP alright so hey that wasn't too f that wasn't too bad it booted it up uh, I've got the startup screen let's see if I've got English keyboard here okay I've got English keyboard and we'll try and get on the internet. Um, naturally, Chrome is a little, probably a little heavy for Windows XP at this point because Windows XP or Chrome is uh, is pretty heavy duty. We're still waiting for Chrome to launch. You can see the icons there. Still waiting for launch. Hmm. I just switched back to Russian. back to English hmm still waiting for Chrome to launch nothing under alt tab okay uh, we'll try Internet Explorer see if that's any better All right Internet Explorer started and the page is loading and it looks like it works okay so let's try Chrome again uh, maybe because Chrome doesn't support Windows XP ah there it goes All right uh, computer will no longer receive Chrome updates blah 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 okay so that gives you a little bit of an idea as to the speed of the boot up and now let's uh, shut down And I'll put the Puppy Linux in and go ahead and reboot. Here we go. Xenial Pup 7.5, waiting for USB storage, copying to RAM. This machine has one gig of RAM and a 132-bit 1.6 gigahertz CPU, I think. It sounds right, anyway.
loading kernel modules. Optical input. I don't have any mouse, I'm just using the uh, touchpad. Got the cursor. And there's Xenio Pup. Uh, so all in all, I wouldn't say there's a super big difference between start and boot up times in the two operating systems. Uh, let's see if we can connect the internet. Uh, we've already, looks like we're already connected. So let's see how fast the uh, browser loads. Again, because I'm using a different browser, it's not a super fair test in terms of how fast the browser lo loads or the internet loads, but we'll give it a test anyway. We'll use Pale Moon. I think we're going to use pale, pale Moon. Maybe I didn't click on it properly. Let's try. Ah, there we did. Okay, so uh, click no. All right, so there it is. Uh, pale Moon works. And we'll just, for giggles, let's do a sound check. Click on the first video, see what happens. And audio works even though it might be a little too faint for you to hear it. Uh, Okay, so audio does work. All right, so there it is. That's a quick demonstration of Xenio Pup versus Windows XP on Aspire 1, 1 gigahertz, 1.6 gigahertz CPU with 1 gig of RAM. Thanks, and happy computing.